What's up, Money Minds, and welcome back to another video edition of Market Briefs. Today is December 9th, and here's some business and financial news you can finally use. At the start of November, Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market was on a roll. Bitcoin hit a new record high of around $67,000 per coin. However, just a little over a month later, Bitcoin is dropping. In the first weekend of December, Bitcoin lost around 15% of its overall value and has continued to slide ever since. And this slide in particular comes at a very interesting time as you have the new CPI or Consumer Price Index report coming out very soon. And you also have the Federal Reserve making a huge announcement on their monetary policies following inflation. In addition, some key crypto brokerage CEOs met before Congress and actually had a meeting with them about regulations surrounding cryptocurrency. All of this is kind of creating the perfect storm for Bitcoin and other cryptos to start dropping. So today I want to take a minute to talk about why Bitcoin and other cryptos are starting to slide right now. In addition, I want to talk about what this could all mean for the future of cryptocurrencies in 2022 and beyond. But before I get into all of that, my name is Nate from Minority Mindset News and if you like this video then smash that thumbs up button below and hit that notification bell too. That way YouTube shows our videos to way more money minds around the world. We can keep making videos just like this one. Like I said, it has been a strange week for crypto. And this comes after cryptocurrency has been booming over the last two years. But with every bull run, there has also been some bear markets. At the start of 2020, one Bitcoin would cost you around 7,000 US dollars. However, by the end of 2021, one Bitcoin is hovering around the $50,000 mark. That is a huge jump from what we've seen years prior, even bigger than the 2017 crypto boom. And part of the reason for this is because there is so much interest around cryptocurrency right now. However, even with all of that interest, there has been some problems in the cryptocurrency industry. Threats of regulation, hacking, and just the future of the market in general has scared a lot of investors out of the cryptocurrency market. And I think it's important to remember in 2020 and in 2021, there has been a ton of new investors, investors in all sorts of different fields. I think because of the pandemic, a lot of people are starting to get worried about their money. The pandemic has had a massive effect on what inflation is, and as people start to see their money go down the drain because of inflation, they're starting to turn to other assets, one of those assets being cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency can protect you against inflation, particularly Bitcoin, because there is a limited supply of Bitcoin. Once 21 million Bitcoins have been created, you cannot make any more. This means that Bitcoin can protect your money against inflation because it's got a limited supply and an unlimited amount of demand. But that's not to say that investing in Bitcoin has no risks. Investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is extremely speculative. The only reason that these cryptos have a serious amount of value is because people say they have value. Sure, you can use Bitcoin all throughout the world. You can use other cryptos as well. They're kind of like gold in that sense. One ounce of gold is going to have the same value everywhere in the world. However, Bitcoin is completely digital. But if a country like China comes in and completely regulates cryptocurrencies to the point that nobody can use them, then this can be a serious problem for investors, which is exactly why some brokerage CEOs for cryptocurrencies went before Congress on December 8th and talked about regulating in the cryptocurrency industry. This meeting was pretty eye-opening for a lot of people. One of the major things that the cryptocurrency executive said was that they are worried that the United States government or governments around the world are going to over-regulate cryptocurrencies, meaning there's going to be way too much oversight and this will limit the growth of crypto. Basically, their philosophy here is that cryptocurrencies are decentralized. Our money, like US dollars, comes from a centralized authority like the United States government. This means that the Federal Reserve and the United States Treasury have complete control over our monetary supply in the United States. However, that also means that they can print as much money as they like. We saw them do this in 2020 and in parts of 2021 in response to the pandemic. You pretty much have no control over taxes or 
what the United States government is going to do with our money. This means that inflation can get out of control and the consumer price index of October 2021 showed that inflation rose by around 6.2% on average. That means the average price of everything in all industries in the United States actually went up and it's more than double what we're used to seeing. The Federal Reserve considers around two to three percent inflation very healthy. However, like I said, we're experiencing elevated levels of that at least by the end of 2021. However, cryptocurrencies are supposed to be the complete opposite. There's not supposed to be a central agency that controls what people can and can't do with cryptocurrency. That's sort of the whole goal of this decentralized finance. Cryptocurrency CEOs are worried that if the United States government imposes too many taxes or too many regulations on cryptocurrencies, that could mean that the market in general slows down. And that means the technology for cryptos slows down too. This is one of the important things to remember about cryptocurrency. It is a technology and it is growing with the internet. Certain cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are used to buy things. You can also store them and trade them like you would any other piece of property. However, cryptocurrency is a lot bigger than that. You also have Ethereum, which uses NFTs and has a larger pool of technology that investors can do more than just buy things with. And one of the things that the United States government said in this meeting with cryptocurrency CEOs was that they may start to designate and change what they consider to be a cryptocurrency brokerage, a cryptocurrency investor, miner, etc. The reason for this is because the United States government wants to alter the definitions of what it means to be a cryptocurrency brokerage. They also want to alter what it means to be a cryptocurrency miner. By changing these definitions, they can change the tax laws around them. So buying, selling, and creating cryptocurrency is about to get a whole lot more complicated. And the whole reason for this in general is so that the United States government, and more importantly, the IRS can have more oversight into how cryptocurrency are taxed. When they have more oversight into how they're taxed, that means they're tracking them a whole lot better. In their eyes, this protects consumers. So that way, there's a lot less hacking and a lot less scamming going on and a lot more fairness in the cryptocurrency market. House Representative Maxine Waters had this to say in regards to cryptocurrency regulations and how they can protect consumers. Currently, cryptocurrency markets have no overreaching or centralized regulatory framework, leaving investments in the digital asset space vulnerable to fraud, manipulation, and abuse. And I think Maxine Waters is kind of right here. Over the last few months and in 2021 in general, we have seen a lot of this happen in the cryptocurrency space. We're talking millions, if not billions of dollars scammed and hacked from cryptocurrency exchanges. This used to be the number one problem with cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin when it was first starting out in the early 2000s. A lot of people were worried that Bitcoin was being used for a lot of dark web activities. In a lot of people's eyes, cryptocurrency was the number one resource and payment option for illegal activity online. The CEOs from these cryptocurrency brokerages said that over-regulating these cryptocurrencies now is a huge mistake and is a knee-jerk reaction to a few small problems that have happened in the industry. There is a lot more promise in their opinion that cryptocurrencies will do in the near future, and regulating them is only going to stunt that growth. And one of the other things that CEOs from the cryptocurrency brokerages said that over-regulating cryptocurrencies could stop a lot of the technological growth in the United States. But that growth is not going to stop worldwide. What will ultimately happen is if regulations push cryptocurrency investors too far, and they're going to leave the United States, meaning they're going to innovate in other countries. And the United States may be left behind in the cryptocurrency space. This is already somewhat happening in countries who are very forward on the cryptocurrency issue, places like El Salvador. El Salvador in November of 2021 created a Bitcoin city. Now it's officially launching next year in 2022. However, this city will completely use Bitcoin and other cryptos as its main form of payment. In addition, it's going to use a lot of its volcanic activity in order to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Basically, it's going to be a self-sustained area where people use Bitcoin. That is a worldwide test because we have never seen anything like that before. However, 
chances are this is going to continue to grow like this in the future. And the United States right now is a great place of that because of lack of regulation. We can see that because when China banned all cryptocurrency, a lot of those miners and cryptocurrency holders moved to the United States because of all of the advantages that the US has. However, CEOs of the crypto brokerages are worried that overregulation could stop that too. United States is a big hub for cryptocurrency, and this could really slow everything down if there is too much regulation. The CEOs of the crypto brokerages argued that cryptocurrency is good for the entire rest of the world. Because of Bitcoin's universal value, this can mean that a lot of places that don't have access to US dollars or currency in their country can have access to Bitcoin because it is a digital asset. This means that as the technology of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies advance, that could mean that wealth is spread throughout the entire world in a more homogenized way. And don't get me wrong here, crypto CEOs in this meeting were not saying do not regulate cryptocurrency at all, they were basically saying that we need to kind of wait and see how this technology advances in the future. Their argument is that cryptocurrency is still very new and it does not function like a lot of other financial sectors that we have in our society. So you can't just slap a lot of the same regulations onto cryptocurrency. They just won't work right. The CEOs of cryptocurrency brokerages were essentially saying give it time. They want people to pay their taxes right and they want a clear guide on how they can make sure that people pay their taxes right. Brokerages don't want to be confused about taxes just as much as the United States government does. However, they don't want things to be moved too fast and to have things be confusing right now. And this idea of taxing cryptocurrencies even more is a fairly new conversation. In November of 2021, President Joe Biden and his administration finally passed the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. And in that $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, the United States government started to explore new ways to fund that program. One of the ways that they want to do this is by taxing cryptocurrencies more and bringing more regulations to the industry. There are a variety of other different ways that the United States government is exploring taxes to help pay for this new infrastructure program. However, the bottom line here is this. If people can make money from it, the United States government wants to tax it in some way. That is not new and it's not uncommon. And to be fair, the United States government does tax cryptocurrencies. However, they only tax the selling of a cryptocurrency as a capital gain, like you would with a stock or real estate. However, stocks and real estate are very different than the cryptocurrency market. And taking a lot of those regulations and IRS tax rules and just slapping them onto the cryptocurrency industry may cause some serious problems. The main ones being that fraud may get misrecognized and some cryptocurrency investors may get overtaxed. That creates a confusing situation for the United States government and cryptocurrency investors. And it makes it increasingly more difficult for brokerages to figure out how much people owe in taxes too. That fact alone is going to push millions of people out of the cryptocurrency market. And if it does manage to keep a lot of people in, it could mean billions of additional dollars in revenue for the United States government. Ultimately though, the United States government is going to regulate cryptocurrencies in some way. I mean, I don't see them continuing to let cryptocurrencies be completely decentralized, even if that's what investors and lobbyists want. The fact of the matter is that cryptocurrency is still very new in the business and financial world. Mining cryptocurrencies have their own problems and regulators are going to have to look at that too. One Bitcoin to mine takes a ton of energy. And as the United States and the rest of the world is trying to become a little more environmentally friendly, cryptocurrencies are definitely not there yet. And they use up a ton of energy. So regulators will have to look at that. But as the cryptocurrency world grows and millions more investors start to enter that market, they're worried about people losing money too. And ultimately, who foots the bill when somebody loses millions of dollars in their cryptocurrency wallet? Ultimately, some people are going to look towards the United States government. And if the United States government doesn't have a solution or offer any additional money, 
they're the ones that are going to be in trouble. So in a way, the government is trying to get ahead of that and start taxing things more and bringing more insight to the industry. That way they know exactly what is going on. However, that poses some serious issues to cryptocurrency growth and availability all around the world. So obviously this is a very complicated issue, but now I wanna hear from you. What do you think about regulation in the cryptocurrency industry? Do you think the United States government should leave cryptocurrencies alone? Or do you think the industry should have a lot more regulations in place? Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below before you go. But that is it for today's Market Briefs video breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Keep hustling money minds, and I'll see you all in the next one.